On this episode, we're going to jump into the mailbag and look at a couple of items that I've picked up over the last uh, few weeks. And this is a pretty big mailbag, so let's get inside. Howdy train fans, welcome back to the Chattanooga Southern Railroad. Hope everybody had a great turkey day. Um, we're in the Black Friday shopping spree these days, um, and I have been picking up a few things over the last a week. Um, one of which is what you're, uh, what's holding the camera right now, which is an overhead um, phone holder. And so what I wanted to do was kind of share that with you along with some other things. So, first thing is I wanted to share the um, phone holder with you. This is the one I bought off of Amazon. It's a Yo Yoho Tension, I guess is how you pronounce that. It's actually uh, going to be a Cyber Monday deal here for twenty nine ninety nine. It's regularly priced about forty bucks, uh, but I really like it. It was nice and stable. It's got a telescoping head. These arms are. Um, quite uh, firm as far as their movement and it holds my cell phone exactly where I want it. So really happy with this so far. I've got it mounted uh, to my work table here. Um, and you can see you got a good view of pretty much the whole mat here. So uh, I'll be using this. I've been waiting for this to come in uh, to do some of the locomotive projects. Uh, and I thought I would use it on uh, this video. So let's get into some of the other things that have popped up. So I got a number of things that I've purchased as of late. Um, this is an Athern car. Um, don't know if you can read that. Uh, that is a, uh, this is a Bev Bell Southern 1940s uh, black 50 foot open gondola. Uh, this is, it says Southern 2216. So let me show you this. I wanted this, most of my gondolas from Southern are either silver or the oxide red. Um, this one um, is uh, all black. Uh, it did come with the KDs on them, but the pins have been clipped. I'll uh, change those out. I'm also gonna change out the plastic wheel sets on this. But the main reason I bought this uh, is for my maintenance of way train. Uh, you've, if you watched some of my previous videos, you saw my um, uh, my 250 ton crane, uh, and I'll show that to you in uh, later in this video. You all know I've got a fetish for Southern Railway cabooses, and this one is no. Uh, <laughs> No different. Um, and so I found this one on eBay. Um, I've noticed the prices have started to come down quite a bit um, on eBay. And so I picked up this one. Now this one is more of the early generation red. Um, and what I could tell from, if you were a Southern Railroad fan, you know that these are tend to be a really bright red color. Um, this one uh, is the kind of, it's not an oxide red but it's close and so from what i could tell uh from my research is that this was actually the original color uh for the southern railway cabooses when the bay windows first started to come out uh and it wasn't until later um in the uh the uh, i think it was the late 50s early 60s that they started to convert them over to the bright red uh, that us Southern fans uh, know and love. So I thought I'd get an earlier generation one of these, right? Like I needed another caboose. Another one that I picked up that I have been hunting for is uh, these Blueford Shops transfer cabooses. This is the XC1. I already had an XC22. Uh, and uh, I saw this one pop up and 
I went after it and I don't know how I got it for the price I got it, but I'm really excited. The only one I think I'm missing at this point is the XC15. I think that was the only other one that they produced. Uh, it's a shame they don't produce them anymore. I think they've totally focused on end scale. Um, and so um, I'm really looking forward to rolling this one uh, around my layout. Um, I did pick up another locomotive. Uh, this is a switcher, so go down here to the end. So this is an Alco S2 diesel switcher. It's DCC ready. Um, this is my only my second Bachman DCC ready locomotive that I have. Um, I really wanted this one because I do tend to like that Alco sound and I like switchers. I mean, my layout's not super huge. Um, and so uh, I was interested in, I'm going to try to get more and more into doing uh, decoder work and stuff like that. Uh, I've been watching a number of videos from solo contracting out there on YouTube. And um, I'm think I'm going to be brave enough to try this one after I do my uh, scale train locomotives. So anyway um looking forward to doing this one and getting this one running in the yard haven't uh, decided if i'm gonna make this a dedicated location switcher or what um but uh this is gonna be a nice little project i think and then finally this is one of those things it, this is a spectrum master railroader series from bachman this is an older version I can get to the right end for the label. So this is the HO speeder with work crane and car. Um, and if um, I've been wanting one of these for a while, finally found one at a really good price. And I'm excited to have this. And you can see here that it's got the speeder car itself. It's got this uh, crane car here with the people they're loose from they're not sitting on the seats um, I may use all of them or I haven't decided what yet and then it, there's this little bitty car here that has um, tools and whatnot on it uh, and the detail is really quite uh, quite good I'm, I'm really kind of excited to have this as part of the maintenance away um, equipment on it because it's hard to get that one out um, but you can kind of see the the detail in this one um, not quite sure how the crane itself works I haven't figured that out yet strings kind of all over the place but anyway it's got some nice metal detail on it so I'm really excited about that there and then of course the speeder car itself which is does operate of course we've got some other detail parts in here. Oh, these are the draw bars between the two. I haven't had this fully open yet. I only kind of glanced at it before this video. Um, you can see it's got some really pretty nice detail and it's hefty, the whole thing's metal. Um, and apparently this runs, so I have not run it yet. Um, I'm gonna give that a shot and see um, if that works uh, going forward, so. There we go, kind of excited about that one. So here's one of my special acquisitions as of uh, this last week. What you see here is this, photo, this print here of the Southern uh, Pacific, uh, not Southern Pacific, but Southern Pacific locomotive, the famous 1401. Um, and this is was the, uh, the pride and joy of the Southern Railway, uh, running the Crescent train from uh, Washington all the way down to uh, New Orleans. And why this is special is that um, not only did I, do I have a brass import that I bought uh, shortly after I graduated college uh, that you can see here, this is a United uh, uh, locomotive here. It needs some work. Hopefully I can get this uh, with some DCC um, and sound put into it, but that's for a, a later day. It does have a number five coupler on it, which is uh, great. I did that years ago, or I should say decades ago. But why this is important or special to me is I've also been down to 
the Smithsonian, uh, the American History Museum, and you can see a picture of the original, the 1401 uh, sitting there, and I've been down to visit that locomotive. So uh, to, to have not only the model, but this print that I just got recently, and having seen that in person, and I actually have some pictures of me standing next to it, um, just is just fantastic for me. So uh, really excited to have uh, this, this print to kind of go with the experience of seeing it and having the model here, so. So there you have it for this uh, mailbag. A couple of really neat things. You actually see the holder up here for the that I bought from Amazon. Um, and I'll kind of turn this a little bit so you can see. There's the arm comes down and it mounts. And I've got it mounted right down to uh, my right next to my light base as well. So by the way, I also love this light uh, unit as well. So um, anyway, with that, we'll. Uh, See you all down the tracks. Bye.